What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mac. How's it going? Y'all doing all right? Everybody having a great day? Good, 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 good. Man, I um, was scrolling down Instagram and I ran across a post by Charlemagne the God. Shout out to Charlemagne the God, Breakfast Club, DJ Envy. Shout out, shout out, shit out, respect. I talk a lot of trash about Charlemagne because I commit a lot of ball on ball crime. But um, I got to get that brother his flowers when he stand up and say some real stuff, man. And um, recently I came across his post and he was talking with uh, Leslie Jones, the comedian, legendary comedian Leslie Jones. Y'all know from the Ghostbusters uh, remake. Y'all know from Saturday Night Live. Y'all know from plenty movies, especially us from the hood, you know. But Leslie Jones, shout out to her because she asked him a question that isn't really asked to black men. And she asked him, um, how do we process our depression? What do we go through when we're having mental issues? Because oftentimes, people treat it like black men don't go through anything. Like people, other people don't go through anything. You only hear about certain groups, whether that's, and I'm not knocking them, but you'll hear, you know, about the sisters, you'll hear about the alphabet community, you'll hear about other people who are going through mental issues and we care about them, we listen to them, we feel their pain, you know? But when it comes to men, especially like a straight male, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really cares about what we go through. Nobody cares. And it, it almost to the point where now we're almost treated like we're not human. But she made it clear to know that oftentimes we talk about the stress that go on with the women in our community. But she was like, Charlemagne, so do black men. But I'm going to say just men in general. And uh, she asked Charlemagne, like, what are you doing? He admitted it boldly. He was like, man, well, my new therapist... Because Charlemagne has very been, pub been public about the fact that he goes uh, to therapy and he advises others to go s get there because we need it, you know? We need it. Especially if you had a traumatic upbringing. Don't try to normalize what you've been through, you know? But she asked Charlemagne, what do you do when you're feeling low? When you're feeling like you're not enough? When you're feeling inadequate? And he said his therapist told him that sometimes you have to champion yourself. Sometimes you got to make yourself your own hero, hero to look up to. Sometimes you got to be your own influence. Now, we all got great people we look up to, we study for, we have mentors, we have parents. You know, they're heroes. I'm one person that I don't try too much to diss people who listen to, who listen to celebrities. I'm not one to do that. Um, I don't think celebrities are the greatest philosophers in the world, but some of them are. So I don't have a problem with someone who has a particular individual that just made it to Hollywood or successful that's giving you some game on life. But sometimes you got to see the growth in yourself. Sometimes you have to see how far you came. This is what Charlemagne was talking about. And I said, man, that's some real stuff, man. Because we go through times in our life where we just feel low. We feel inadequate. We feel like we're not enough. We feel like we're not loved. We feel like we're not respected. We feel like we're not getting appreciated the way we should. Because things aren't happening as fast as we allow them to be or we're judging ourselves based off societal standards. How dudes get on here all day trying to tell you, not, you know, you ain't shit if you don't make this amount of money. Or we tell the lady sometime you need to be overlooked because you don't look this way. That's a societal opinion. A fact is knowing the things that make you happy. Being around people that truly love you. And understanding you're a lot better than you are today. For me, at times I, I question my career even with the comedy, even with the YouTube Please send me a like, subscribe, share the channel. But I question the growth of it at times. Well, I got to be reminded of when I started. I remember when I submitted my stand-up special to YouTube and 88% of 90,000 people said I should quit. I didn't have it. And they laughed and smiled at a fucking fool for telling me I should kill myself. They told me I should quit. 
And the dumbass in the situation was nobody but me. Because I allowed that negativity to enter my mental place and sometimes our heart. I got to be honest about it. Now, it made me better. I got on my grind. I get booked on shows. Man, I've been doing things in comedy. Cats have who've been doing it for years haven't, been a, haven't had the pleasure of doing. And I'm not shitting on them. I'm saying I need to be more thankful and appreciative for the things that I've come and accumulated in this game. You know what I'm saying? And so are y'all. Sometimes you might have you might be on your job and the man manager position came up and you got overlooked wrongfully, unfairly. But you might be the supervisor. You started entry level. Look at how you've grown as a person. Look at the greatest things you've done. Oftentimes, people want to try to remind you of your lowest points in life, how fucked up you once was. But you should smile in their face because the key word was was, meaning you're no longer there. You're better than that situation. You were stronger than it, and you're going to be stronger than the, the other situations you're going to go through. But... People forget that our past isn't for us to look at and say, judge me. We're not meant to be judged for our past, y'all. Your past is supposed to be a measurement for your progression or how much you fell off. That's how you're supposed to look at yesterday as nothing more than just a, a way of measuring progression or if I'm going under. But you don't live there anymore. That 88% that told me, woo, 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 thank y'all, because y'all made me a better comic, y'all made me a better YouTuber. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But at this point, I don't give a fuck if none of y'all fuck with me ever again. That 88% or the 88% on the way out. Because I give truth I'll be funny a few times up on here. I give truth, I give logic, and most importantly, I spread love for every one of my videos. You know what I'm saying? So, and people happen to love it because that lets me know what type of people we have out in this world. Y'all, people who love truth, logic, love. Everybody else is in, in that, that wanna, nah, fuck everybody. I'm not even gonna diss them, man. Everybody have a right to feel how they feel on life. It's just the way this how I feel about it, man. You got to champion yourselves. You got to know how great you are. You know what I'm saying? My wife is an amazing artist and is an amazing artist. And sometimes she even look at her work like, I don't like this. And I tell her, go back and look at the first art piece that you thought was the greatest art piece you drew. The one that lets you know you had a chance in this game at being a, a renowned artist. Go look at that first one, how great you were, you, you, how high you felt, right? And compare that to the shit you think is I right today. And watch how much the I right shit looks better than that other shit. Because sometimes she didn't see her progression and sometimes it's like that. I do it myself. I do it to myself. We all do it. People go to the gym. They be in the gym looking getting looking better and better, getting more and more healthier, putting ad dudes adding up more weight on them on their machines and stuff. Ladies going along on a treadmill, but they still thinking, I'm that same fat person. I'm that same or whatever. I'm that same skinny person. I'm the same person that didn't live. We think that way, man. We we beat us down because the world try to tell us, they try to project their hate of them, the, the hateful thoughts they think on themselves onto you. That's what they're going to do. Anybody that look at my video and they're oh, you whack. Brother, thank you for telling me that you're whack. Because that's the way you feel about yourself. Ain't nobody who doing something in life, who winning in life, is looking down on somebody who they feel is truly less than them. If anything, most niggas who winning in life is happy to see somebody doing something that's, damn, man. That's, I think that's honorable that you. You doing something that's reminiscent to what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I think that's respectful. But, and I'm gonna tell the reality, I'm not, I'm not calling, I'm not dissing nobody when I say this. But as the OG Earthquake the comic says, only people beneath you 
is going to talk negative about you. Whether they beneath you financially, health-wise, love-wise, life-wise, it don't matter. Only people beneath you is going to feel comfortable talking negative about you. People doing better than you don't even give a fuck about your life to even waste a conversation on it. And people who are doing great and love their life, all they want to do is express love. That's it. That's it. So don't let them get to your head, man. I know it's human. A lot of y'all going to be lying and then, man, you grown, bro. You don't let nobody get in my head. Yeah, you do. That's human. It's human nature. Stop being fake about it. Stop it. I hate when, when I'm talking to young black dudes and we act like the, the rap music ain't part of the problem of the community. And I'm not dissing rap, but I'm saying that we, we're acting like us telling each other to kill each other is not making us want to kill each other. That's the, you're a fool if you don't think that's how the human brain works. You're a fool. Why the hell you think football players and boxers and wrestlers come out to gangsta ass and rock music, theme music? Because rap music and rock music makes you up. It amps you up. Difference is the rock and roll star talking about killing themselves and the rappers talking about killing your ass. That's the difference. But it plays on the subconscious, y'all. I say it's subliminal. Y'all going to correct me on that later, but whatever. What I'm getting at is it play on, don't judge my words, judge what I mean. It plays on the subconscious. It plays on what you, how you react without thinking. Case in point, my ass. Listen, this is some gangster shit. Got into it with some, I don't know what, what they are. They, and their ethnicity is even irrelevant at this point. But I got into it with the dude and I was going to tune this 57 year old man ass up i was going to jail y'all i know i was i'm not even going to deny it i had no love in my heart for that man at that moment but i didn't realize i was thinking with a bitch mentality not bitching talking about a female woman because women are not bitches i'm talking about bitch in the sense of thinking off emotion feeling played i'm a man they're not supposed to feel nothing supposed to move off logic but I got caught off my square honestly had to, it's part of what we feed into what are we listening to what are we talking about what are we watching what do we hang around I hate to say it America it ain't just black America. We're going to talk about y'all white ass too and your Hispanic ass and your Chinese ass and the rest of y'all. Because we all fucked up. All of us. Because in this culture, we have tricked ourselves into doing what the hell we feel instead of doing what's right. Yes, all of us. All of us. And this ain't a judgment. This is just a wake up call. It's nothing but a wake-up call. Matter of fact, it's, it's more of me just telling us to know you're great and know that you're wonderful and know that you, you whatever you're doing out there and believe in yourself, just know if you, the people that love you, if they riding with you and they telling you to keep going and they telling you they believe in it, go with their answer. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're striving to be, whatever your goal is, the people who love you gonna tell you the truth you need to hear. Trust me. And I hate to tell you, some of these people may not be your family. Some of these people may not be your friends you've known your whole life. Some of these people are going to be strangers. Some of them are going to be family members you thought, never thought would have supported you that supported you. Some of them will be friends you never thought would have supported you will support you. Well, works both ways, so find out who fuck with you for real. My homeboy, shout out to Icy Mike, man. He got a song on YouTube called The Good and the Bad. It's a relationship song, but I had to tell him the brilliance of that song is it talks to the ups and downs, the roller coasters of love, of a relationship with you and your woman or whatever. That's what I look at with life. Life is a roller coaster. Life is your roller coaster. Life is the one that's going to send you through all through these changes, you know? The good, the bad, the happy, and the sad. That's what life is going to do. But you should want it that way. Because if your life was perfect, you wouldn't know who really fooled with you or not. See, when the chips are down and shit ugly and things are rough or it ain't going your way, you find out who you are, what you worth, 
how strong you are, and most importantly, you really find out who fuck with you. Trust me. Trust me, man. Anyway, y'all, this has been fun, but I got to run, y'all. Thank y'all for everybody that tuned into the video, heard me out, listened to my, you know, me do my talk. Thank you very, very much. Um, I really do appreciate it. I do these videos. I only want to inspire people to be better, man, and for themselves and, 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 and learn to love life like I've learned to love life. You know, that's my only thing. I'm not here to tell you what's the right or wrong or any of that stuff. It's just me telling you things that help me finally learn to love life. Finally learn to start trusting people. Finally learn to start forgiving people. These are things that help me. So I hope it'll help y'all. Anyway, man, that's been my time. Y'all know me, Tony Mack. Well, it's always real, but it's always love. Peace.